this is not the result that we wanted to see but it just happened from the get-go i would tell you that i'm happy with the performance i'm happy with the system i didn't want to see maresca copying pep guardiola because i knew he was going to end badly he didn't he didn't copy pep guardiola i saw maresca trying his own things it worked, but we are lacking the final touch. We are lacking the end product. We are lacking a little bit of quality. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Oggs. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below to encourage your brother. And thank you so much for everybody that was there for my call in show watch along on foot state youtube channel the link in the description down below because after recording this video i'm going live to react to the game so you have the opportunity to click on the link call us and have your say the game overall was good at some point i saw chelsea doing amazing things we need, we, we need a finisher. We need quality in the box. We need Osimhen, for example. We need a Haaland. We need a Drogba. We need a Diego Costa in front. Nicholas Jackson, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt from an injury and also still the beginning of the season, but still him right Nicholas Jackson he will score the most difficult uh, goal and then miss the easiest one or oh, when he scored it's an offside so it's very complicated to understand let me go to some details 2-0 to Manchester City at Stamford Bridge Erling Haaland scored in the 80th minute, he bullied Marco Correa and also Levi Cowell. People don't want to talk about Marco Correa because we have to blame somebody but him. I don't know what game people been watching, but if it was Ashley Cole or another good uh, left back, he was going to put an amazing tackle and you are like, oh my goodness. Football is made of mistakes. If your brother make a mistake, you correct it. But people will point only the players that they don't like and try to turn a blind eye on certain pe people who are untouchable. Mateo Kovacic put more salt in the wound. Yeah, one of us, he came to the bridge, he punishes us. He always scored screamers. I just appreciate the fact that he didn't celebrate like uh, Kai Harvett. But I don't mind if you're going to celebrate your goal. If the team didn't want to keep you, they got rid of you and you play for another team, I don't have any problem by you celebrating against that former team. Erling Haaland, man of the match, he bullied people really. One goal, zero assist, two shots on target, one successful dribble. Let's check on the vote here. So it's all Manchester City. Wow. Vardiol, Kovacic, Kopama came like fourth. Yeah, Kopama, probably the position really is not fitting him correctly. Today, he was quiet on the pitch, so I'm not going to argue about that. It is what it is, people. Pep Guardiola got, uh, got what he wanted at Stamford Bridge. And the lineup, actually... I mean, I didn't see many people complain about it. Robert Sanchez, Kukureya, Levi Cole. For everybody that watched my preview, remember what I said? I don't want to see Kukureya. I want to see Vega because of the size, because of defensive work, because of attitude, power, and everything. I knew Kukureya was going to be bullied. Well, he did good to a certain level. I just don't understand the hype behind Kukurea. I don't, I don't get it. He's good on his day, 
But people don't want to talk about it because it's Kukurea and you just want the heroes and all the narrative behind it. We have to blame somebody else even for something that he could have done better. But it is what it is. Cowell, poor today. Malugusto was good. Wesley Fofana, I can't really blame him that much. He's from a bad injury. Not giving anybody any excuse here, but just stating fact. Enzo Fernandez, captain today, need to do better. Christopher Nkunku played for 58th minute, which was good management because you don't want to see him get injured again. We have to manage their minutes on the pitch. Rhys James got injured two minutes before the manager subbed him. That's how bad he was. Like he was that inch just so he can stay fit. Remember that. Cole Palmer was cool today. Called. Didn't really do much. Caicedo was Caicedo. Lavia. Wow. What a player we have. He couldn't put a foot wrong. But it's a team game. You can't really blame one person. And Nicholas Jackson played 67th minute and he was poor. The subs that came off the bench, KDH didn't do much. Vega, for 10 minutes when you are already losing, it's very difficult. You, because sometimes it can take you even 10 minutes on the pitch to feel, to feel even the pitch. Rare are the times that somebody is going to come off the bench and immediately score or have an impact. Uh, Pedro Neto. Yeah, he was good in my opinion. Almost scored if he if he finished that uh, chance in the far post. And Mark Guillou. Yeah, he was just handful, but I didn't see much. Pep Guardiola only made one sub, which is Phil Foden. Let me get to some statistics very quickly. So some statistics, my friend, you see here, Chelsea had 48% possession. At some, point, at some point, we were leading in term of possession during the game. But overall, City got 52 and Chelsea only 48. Shot on target, Chelsea 3, Manchester City 5. Shot all together, Chelsea 10, Manchester City 11. And all other statistics here, I, I don't really care. And I don't know if anybody really will care about it. Anyways, my people, it is what it is. It hurt because we lost. But I saw things that I like. Mareska proved me today that he's not stubborn. Because my fear was that he's going to be stubborn, copying Pep Guardiola all the time. Listen, possession bears football takes time to implement. Especially when you try to copy somebody, you are not original. Original is always original. So Mareska first game at home at Stamford Bridge ended by a defeat. But I'm not going to say like honorable defeat or whatever because a defeat is a defeat. It's about three points. It hurt. But I am more hopeful today than... During the preseason, during the preseason, I lost my hope because of the way we were playing. Today, I know that with more quality, if we can add Osimen, Joao Felix is coming, and I'm still very, very worried about our defense. If we can get a proper, proper de defender there, or we can swallow our pride and bring. Uh, young Chaluba, you know, Trevor Chaluba in the team because I don't think anybody in that defense is better than Chaluba. Let's be honest, my friend. Beside the fact that he's from Cobham and we're supposed to hate him, I don't see anything that anybody is going to bring in that defense better than Trevor Chaluba. So if we're going to sell Chaluba, I think we still need a proper, proper center back because i heard that uh Isasi wanna leave he wasn't today even in the squad including raheem sterling 
that is another topic that we're gonna discuss very soon in another video or live because i'm going live like when you finish watch this video you have to go on foot state youtube channel because i'm gonna be live over there call in show so i can listen from you guys but if we're gonna get rid of you know humphreys chaluba tiago silva went and disassi is leaving with that defense we are very very shaky you don't know when somebody like uh, Fofana is going to collapse. Coming from a bad injury, he didn't even play last season. So we have to find somebody. I don't know if there is somebody there solid, but hey, the data people, the scouting department, you have to do your job because this defense is not giving me any kind of insurance. Gilchrist is on loan already. We sold Humphreys. We want, we are forcing Chaluba out. So we're gonna, we're gonna be really short, or we're gonna turn to Vega and ask him to play as a centre back. I don't know what we're gonna do, but overall, very good game, but very good result. Did that make sense? A good game. Oh, let me rephrase this. Very good game with a very bad result yeah that's what i meant i don't know if that makes sense but we did the basics right we created chances we, we didn't finish them and city were more clinical sounds familiar yeah that is a chelsea thing every single season we repeat the same thing we create chances we don't score and the opposition score and we got discouraged so I'm going to support Mareska if he continues playing this kind of football and not shortcut, you know, tiki-taka thing because it's not going to adapt to the players that we have.